Jen. Uh, he likes the white one when it's first up close, but if you look at it from the front here, uh, this is what my brother-in-law says here. You can see that the white one sticks out a little bit more. I'm not sure you can actually see the camera angle, but let's go and go for a side comparison. See, this is what it looks like here from the side. The mud flaps. This is the black mud flaps here. And then there's my neighbor, Jeremiah, who wants to be in in credits and everything. This is Buggy. He's trying to turn into an F1. <laughs> in a, in a, there we go. The machine will drive itself. Oh, look at Jeremiah like, oh, I want one. <laughs> we are by, by my room, my video. <laughs> okay, so this is, the, this is the white one here. I mean, you can't see by the color. It does look a little different. But if you guys like the white one, I recommend getting it. I mean, other than the way I installed it, I could have installed it a little bit more easier by putting that little sm snubby uh, Phillips. And I wouldn't have to force that little thing to bend out of shape and crack the paint a little bit. But I did what I was able to. So you can see here. This is it. Now, nothing's complete because, Jeremiah, I got something. That the one that you wanted the most. This is it. This is what this guy's after here. So we're gonna go and put the emblem on. <laughs> this is the this is the one that you want to turn your Volkswagen into a Tesla, right? I, I gotta get this back, but you can put it on here and see how it looks. Uh, you know what? Actually, I can put it right here. Let's see. Uh, Oh, oh yeah. Well, where? Right there. You don't need a drill hole. There's plenty of holes in there. You just gotta <laughs> poke your finger in there. Put one right here. <laughs> a little uh, tag awesome. in there. Oh, I have yeah. well, <laughs> Okay, it. I'm gonna go and put the other one of them in, and we're gonna find out right now how it looks. So we got this one, and then he gave a uh, little bit of the rocks here too. These are like for the covering the nut lug nuts, which uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now. <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> oh, these are super absorbent. This is what you really need to wash your car wash, huh? I have to use the restroom. He pee on it. God, cut down the video. What else you got in here? Uh, look at this guy. Online. He's just coming. Sell all this stuff online. Yeah, <laughs> my band aid. Okay, so let's see how this guy looks right here. There we go. <laughs> these guys are funny. Okay, here we go. Uh, this one right here. We are gonna go and put this guy in here. Actually, I wanna clean this up a little bit more. You can see here, it's drying out the left debris. So let's clean this up a little bit more. Will you stop looking at my stuff now? Why? You opened the Okay, thing. so we're gonna clean it up a little bit more in the little capo area. I think I got the silver one trying to blend in a little bit better. Different if I'm over here. There we go. You have to push twice sometimes. Only the right touch. <laughs> well, <it's not> <laughs> okay, here we go. I got a wife, so I don't need a tell. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, she tells you what to do. It doesn't work for me. Oh, yeah, she, Tracy has one too. What? Uh, where you can open and close. But she, she, your foot. No, not with the foot. That's right. So we got souped up all the way. There we go. Look at that, all that rust. Look at all this rust, I was telling you. Um, for some reason it just rusted easily. I guess I left the water Where's in the there. Rust? Right here. It doesn't rust, it's got, it's a it's, it's like that a surface? Rust, that's grease. No, it's not no. grease. Grease will be greasy. It, rust. it was rust, right, Manal? No. You saw, I had to put some of that rust oleum. It's not rust. It's rust. Well, you wouldn't know what rust is because you have Did it all you over. you paint this? Hmm? You paint this? No, no, I didn't paint that. This is rust. That's that, not rust. <laughs> you gotta take your shades rust. off, buddy. That's rust. <laughs> that ain't rust. It's just crap. Well, it isn't rust right now because I clean most of it out with a rust -oleum. The water been going in and get the 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 the, the foam. Mm -hmm. These are the caps. And spray on it. Yeah. They will expand. expand. They have a tool to remove these out too. It just goes in and pulls out like this. But you can pull it by your hand. More plastic. So it's not that. You just put more plastic. Oh, it covers it. And what happens when you got to change the tire? You have to pull those off. Yeah. How hard is that? Like taking That's... out a plastic cap. Let's see. 
See, there you go. Yeah, it'll yeah. dry, it'll come off. Well, they're probably not going to fly off anyway, right? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, it unless the wind catches a certain angle. No, it'll dry slow, it's okay. Yeah. No, I don't think it'll come off with the wind. Or, what, 45? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a golf cart, buddy. Yeah, it is. Okay, here we go. All right, and then you can actually peel this off when we put it in. Let's see how this looks. Oh, man. There we go. Beautiful. I'm not sure if I got it the way I wanted to, but... You gotta set the tee just right. What's right? When you dry the it, it'll spin over. No, no, but I want angle a certain direction because you have this beam here. Huh? So I want angle it perfectly where I want it to. It has to be perfect. In fact, I probably want the tee pointing here actually to the valve stem. <laughs> but for right now, we'll we'll settle for that. Let's go and put the rest in. Okay. Let's see how it looks now. So these are the four, yeah, it's five, so five each. Okay. I'm not sure why the other ones just stay white. There we go. Cover it just nicely, actually. That way they don't ask. See, it's gray. More subtle look here before I put this cap on there. Again, I'm gonna twist this where this arrow here is going to point toward the valve stem. You can see the valve stems right there. So let me see if I can try to direct it. I guess it has to hit one of these bolts area somewhere in the middle. In fact, I do want to do a certain angle where if I ever park the car, all the T will align straight so and just put push it in there should be good now take it out this is gonna be a challenge okay I got to use a flat head take it out there we go so it's pointing one of these T anyway so it's a little bit off but that's fine let's see if I can use that flat head probably prefer this one instead of the flat head we got plower it Yeah, these things go on pretty darn tight. Uh, see if I can catch it. Oh yeah. Wow, these things really go on. Okay, we'll probably get like a screwdriver and we'll use a towel behind it. You don't want to damage your rim. See here, there's a plow mark already I made on it. Okay, so what you do is you want to take a flat head. You can use the whole thing actually. There we go. All right, so you can see here, I kind of bend it a little bit. There you go. I kind of crushed a little bit right here. Okay, we can straighten it up. See if I can straighten it up. Yeah. There we go. Just straighten it up a little bit. I don't know how else to get it out, like you take a suction to it or something, right? You could probably suck it out with a hard suction, maybe that'll probably be safer. Take these guys out with a suction versus doing this. See there, it's made from like some aluminum. Okay. Again, this is if you don't want to put your hubcaps on, just to cover it. So, none of that 
you know, stuff is showing. So we're gonna aim at this bolt again, just like we did the other one, right? Or even if they're mounted. You know what? If you look at it, they're all mounted differently. Just the way it's picked up. So I actually should have straightened it out when I could have. Or else it's gonna follow the tire grid. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. As the tape's not off on this one yet. Let's take the tape off of this guy as well. Maybe when they balance the tire next time they put in a lift, I'll ask them if they can lay the car down the same as the valve stem pointing. Or I could rotate it myself when I actually put the, the wheel beat. But for right now, let's go and put that in the same direction. Okay, so we got this guy here. Okay. We're aiming for down there. Okay, there go. Good as new, actually. Can't even see the edges that I ruffled. So I guess they're made for it. There we go, I'll clean it up a little bit. Cut out some of the grease there. Nice, looks beautiful. There we go. Okay, let's take a little further look and see how it looks from afar. Again, I really like the black, the black look on this one and the silver one. I think it gives it a really nice touch. I could have gone with black center caps, but I kind of like a little bit more clean, you know, minimalist, minimalistic, minimalistic kind of a view. So I kind of like it this way. Yep, looks freaking awesome. Okay, so yeah, let's aim at that valve stem, wherever that valve stem is pointing. And then we'll rotate the tire when we do our new rim one. Okay, let's go and grab the other ones. See, this is the actual tool I use, but I don't know how this tool actually takes the other thing off. Or maybe it does, I'm not thinking it stretches. I don't think this one actually will take anything other than what you could took off with your finger. So I don't know how much helpful this guy is <laughs> just for that little area there. I mean, this is great for, but what it really is, is how do we get this guy off? I mean, it's not like you could push one corner and the other one pops off, right? Let's see. See, I'm pushing it all to any corner here, but I don't see anything wanting to wedge off. So the only thing we could do with it is with maybe a nice flathead. But other than that, it looks really nice. It covers up. My neighbor thought I got new rims. I told him no. Just remove the hubcaps. You get these nice alloy wheels Tesla puts out. So let's grab the rest of these guys and just flip them on. Yeah, we might go ahead and just stick with the black mud flaps for right now. Or I could just drive around with this in like a little punky Brewster and see how the quality is on both of them hold. And as well as even the material. But I don't know if I could do that yet. Because the other one is not screwed on. And I'm afraid these things over time might just start rubbing. And if they rub, I have another problem. It's going to damage my PPF, which I don't care for. Okay. Nice. We'll come back and put the center cap once we clean it. Again, everything you see here is pretty much in my description below. I think these are must-have, especially when you have no other choice in uh, hubcaps. These are amazing. I did drove this all the way to the Bay Area and back. I did notice there was a, a lack of range compared to when I had the arrow wheels on there. So the arrow wheels actually did its purpose of extending the range by 10%. So I think it does really help to have the arrow wheels on there. But for aesthetic, these alloy wheels look pretty awesome. So um, since you're driving around town, you might not know the difference, but if you're going for long road trips on the freeways and stuff, that's when you know probably the arrow wheels is gonna do you a little bit better. So let's go and get this towel here and let's clean up that area again. We got the two plates remaining. My neighbor gave back me that one. 
didn't want to give it back to me. <laughs> he liked them. Okay, here we go. Clean that out. Here we go. Give it a good get rubbed there. All right. And the ankh eel. Okay, let's open this uh, fresh one here. Pretty nice. They give you it to you in a little fresh. Uh, bag so they don't scratch each other. And then they give you a little plastic over on top. So this one's gonna look like it's peeling here and there. That's okay. It's gonna be peeled the rest, okay? We'll point again toward the valve stem, wherever that may be. These right there. And we'll straighten it up next time. Not bad at all. Beautiful, huh? Okay, let's go with the next one. We'll clean the inside again. Give it a spray. Probably want to spray inside more. <laughs> All right. It's all that leftover surface rust residue there. Very neat, there we go. All right, let's go and put this cap on. Center cap there. Okay, we're gonna point it toward the valve stem, which is downward. A little off to the right. Should center it actually right here. That's what I should have done. Actually, I might do it for all the rest of them. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, this one has a little bit of an imperfection dent, which is fine. I'll probably do that next time. So, what do you guys think overall? These are it. This is what the white mud flap. You guys can see it. If I can focus on the rim, there we go. I think they look really nice. Gives it a nice finished rim look, you know. And I think these alloy wheels actually really look good, especially from the front. They look very sporty. So pretty please. Let's check out this one side again. This is with the black mud flaps. There it goes with the black. Then you come forward or from the back. We can see how it looks right here. See that right there? So you can really tell. It's almost like a piece of paper hanging on the right hand side. Not really like a paper, but you can definitely see as it's sticking out like a sore thumb. So I kind of think the black is a little bit more better blended. gives it a little bit more blended with the tire preference. What's gonna be great about this is when I start going down the mud, that's what's really gonna make a difference and seeing which one actually protects better. I think the white one does have a little bit more extended area. Again, I wish they made for the white one, you know the thumb like the other one was, where you don't have to actually worry. You know, you should be able to, you know, clamp it. See that, it's, I think it's sort of digging into my PPF. So that's what I'm kind of worried about for this guy here. But for right now, I think he would be okay. I might be able to put some tape just to make sure it's a cautionary. That's what I'll do, I'll get some tape because it's not all the way um, locked down. I'm gonna get some tape and protect. There we are. You're still testing out the espresso machine? What? You're still testing this out? Uh, working or? Not yet. Out of commission still, huh? 
It's working? Yeah. You still have the tape on that? The painter's tape? Oh, you yeah. took it. I took it over in the black box. Black or no black? Black? Behind the screen. Behind the screen? The cabinet? Yeah, cabinet. Oh, this one? Uh, yeah. Who would guess, huh? There we go. I like this one here. I don't know why. Might be the design or something. I like it. Again, this is available also on the description below. I'll be back. I'll close it. So we're just going to put this tape just to protect it. I should have done that while installing that area. But it's too late now. It's on there already, right? All right. What I'm gonna do is just gotta lift this up, put a little bit of tape just to protect the edges from rubbing. A little painter's tape. Painter's tapes are good for surface because they won't cause too much uh, peeling when you actually need to peel it back off. Let's see if I can fit it in there, right? A certain angle, I guess. So much easier to do it before, but I didn't know how far higher high it would be. Then you can always rip it too. Okay, let's go a little bit higher. There we go. That should be fair. So it's a temporary hole. A little bit higher. Because that guy is still there. Okay. There we go. And this will prevent it from rubbing temporarily until we figure out for sure this is what we want. We can decide to drill a hole or not. I don't really want to, but we'll see. There you go. That will protect it from the rub, the constant rubbing back and forth. It'll eat into the painter's tape before it actually eats into the surface of the, the PPF, which we want to save our PPF for real issues. I mean, the PPF is self-healing, by the way. If it's a little light scratch like that, it'll heal itself with a little bit of warm water. However, if it's really bad, it's not going to. Okay, another item, let's go and check out what we're going to show you. Is these little garbage cans. I call them garbage cans, but people call them compartments for their little side panels. Let's see how these ones do. Not bad, not bad. Okay. So let's check these ones out. They're, I guess they're the same company or however, because they look like they came from the same box type. Let's check them out. Front, these are called for the front and back door storage. Okay, I just pretty much think they're great garbage cans because I don't like the things hanging to my side of my seat. But these ones, I think is a great thing. Oh, wow. Okay. And then again, I always get two sets, so we'll find out which one's the better quality one. See here. All some of the literature it comes with. These are it right there. They're nice and petite and smaller than I thought. I thought they were going to be bulky. Uh, oh, they even come with little ru rubber insulators. Check them out. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. I turned it upside down, but here you go. It's flapped loose. See that it comes with a little seam? A little white insert seam. I mean, white is okay. I mean, I can live with it. Matches the car exterior. There's no white in the interior other than the seat, so it actually might serve well well. So let's go ahead and get these guys in here. See how they do compared to the other brand. Oh, this one doesn't have it. They only give you one, huh? <laughs> or it actually fell. There it is, right there. Nice, fits in pretty easily. So I got, I guess I call them a little car garbage compactor area. People could just throw their, you know, blown tissue or whatever. I hate people holding on to it. You know, eventually it starts falling into the ground. So I, I consider these are pretty useful. These might be in the must have. We'll see though, we'll see how they actually hold up. 
uh, from experience of driving it. I don't see one more triangle. Are we missing one? Uh oh, I think they might be shortening us one. I don't see it. I don't see it in here. I don't see it in there. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay, perfect. So they gave us enough for all four. And they're actually the same, I guess. I think they're the same triangle. Okay, let's see which one's going to be the front. I have no idea. I just assume. So let's go and bring them up and see which one is for the front and which one is for the rear. Okay, so here we go. Put these right now. Let's take the first one. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this doesn't feel like it's fitting there. Let's see how this one does. This doesn't feel like, oh, sorry. You guys even see what I'm doing. I try to fit one first. Okay, this one looks like it's fitting. There you go. Not bad. Actually looks really, here you go, new item. <laughs> the dry garbage. Put your guard right here. <laughs> actually, it fits pretty good. It feels good, actually. Uh, I thought at first it might look tacky. Um, but it actually blends in the black. You can't even tell. Now you have a little extra storage. At first, I thought it looked tacky, right? You put it in there. See that? This part, you can still reach for your window power. You know? So this one might be for the front. <laughs> what do you think? A little extra storage area, right? Well, you would have, you see it from the side. <laughs> He's impressed. <laughs> okay, here's the front. So the front one's a smaller one. It's more bulkier too. It's wider. That's pretty smart. Now I'm not sure why this one's a little more snugger fit. Maybe it's not the right one for it. You think so? No, this has to be it. But it might be for the other side. I didn't know there was a left and right one. Let's try this one. There's two more. I would think they're the same. Okay, this one doesn't have the cut. So this might be the one. So the narrow side faces. There you go. See, this one doesn't have to, this one doesn't have to cut. You guys can see that? Fits it perfect. Wow. So you can go throw their garbage in there, put your phone. Yeah. You know that? I could put my whole little handkerchief in there. Something smaller, you know? I don't think you could put your water bottle. Let's take a water bottle example. So the water bottle won't fit in there. But I think it's just for like small things. Should be no problem. So that one's good. All right, let's go and get to the other side. And let's see how the other one looks. Actually, not that bad at all. First, I thought it'd be tacky, but actually looks pretty. I mean, it gives the door a kind of a nice style, like kind of white. When you open it, you have to see a little bit of white. You know, it's a luxury car. Look at that. I like it. It's almost like my floor mat. You could say. Oh, let me go and close this while it's still raining. Okay. Again, I love the, our screen shades here. You can change any color. I kind of like the black. Okay, again, seems like the small snubby ones are the ones for it, so. There we go. There we go. I guess each one are made differently. Maybe the rears are interchangeable, but def definitely not the front. There we go. See, that one's good too. Wow, that is brilliant. You know? So you can push the door to open and close. Here you can maybe get a little bit more. Kind of try to see if this can flush a little bit better, but I think so far so good. It doesn't really itch your skin or anything like this. You still push your door open. So it's kind of nice. Again, when you open your door, you can see a little bit of that white showing underlining. It complements the exterior of the door panels there. I also have another clean cloth here that I use just to wipe any kind of smudges. There we go. Put that back over there. And last but not least. And then we're gonna try another one too. Remember again, I always order sets of two just to make sure I got the best 
up the best here. Let me get the dust off a little bit. Here we go. These are great for just keeping inside. I got black for interior because that way I don't have to worry about, you know, creating a sore thumb because it's kind of blended in with the exterior, interior of the car. Okay, this one goes, I believe the button's right here. So it's gonna slide right, oh, look at that. It just fits so perfect. I mean, it's like it's just made for the car. Oh, wow, what a complimentary. And it doesn't look that tacky at all. Look at that, look from the side angle. You can't even see it, it's just like a, it blends in. It just blends in with the whole structure of the car. I really, <laughs> I really think this is a pretty much, might be a must have actually. Cause you know, you want people to just put things in there like this maybe. In fact, I could probably put my cloth in here now. Let's see if I can do it in the front one. Put my cloth. And you can still reach for your door handle if you don't want to, you know, you can still grab, oh shoot. You can still grab the whole thing. Look at my cloth. Still grab the whole thing like this so it doesn't get in the way of you using your, your door handle. You still put your hand right in there. How neat is that? Okay. The white actually does complement. I like it. But the mud flaps, I might just stick with the black one. And again, what I like about the black one is in the front, there is no hole. It just allows you to lock in right there. You can see the little teeth that locks in right there. If you wanted to drill a hole for further, you could, but I don't think it's going anywhere. Just the way it's designed. I mean, unless something really gets caught on it, then it can rip forward. But other than that, I think it's pretty darn solid. So I think these, these mud flaps should be good enough. So here we go. Look at that, it doesn't interfere with me uh, pushing the, the window, opening and closing. Just like it wasn't even there. And yet it is there, there's an extra pocket there. So a lot of cool things to make our life convenient. You know, especially the foot sensor. So this is really good, I like it. Let's check out this other one here. Looks like the same, the same company. I mean, different, different brand, different company. And then you probably use the same manufacturer because it came with the same kind of box order. So let's find out. Let's see how good this one looks. And see if it also has the little interior rubber or not. Same box, same layout. Look at that. Almost the same thing. Let's see if it has it. It has the same interior. So we're probably looking at the same kind of deal and find out. Let's see. This one's the front one. Right? Let's see if this one flushes better. But yep, it's the same as far as I can see. It doesn't feel any different. Yep. Let's see how this one is. Okay, let's kind of put that little, kind of kick it in there. Okay, let's check this one out. All you do is pop this out, you just kind of reach over and just kind of wiggle it out of there. Push it from the bottom you can. Yep, it's a very nice fit and just kind of curvature out like that. Now we're gonna put this one in now. Same fitment, very snug. You can see here, it presses really well in an Alcatar, I guess they call this, Alcatar, plush. This one seems a little bit more, you know what? I don't know, they look the same to me. Maybe it's just the lighting. Yeah, they probably are the same. Uh, let's see here. This one cuts out a little bit of seam. Okay. Put this guy back in, get a difference again. Yep, 
they're pretty much the same. This one goes in a little bit more easier and yet it still flushes really nicely. So I think they're pretty much the same quality. So what we're getting here. Again, every all the items are in the description below. I think these are really useful. And I think they, they really blend in with the black of the exterior almost. I mean, not all the way blend in, but it's blend in enough where you can't really, really tell. So it's kind of nice. So a little intro, little pockets there now. You can, you know, put your clean tissues, your dirty tissues in there. I think it looks great. All right, well, this is it. That's all I want to share for you today. On the next video, we'll do pretty much how to mount our tires and then also talk about the slime to protect it in case we get a flat, how to deflate it, inflate it back with slime. Um, I might not be able to show you how to put the slime in unless it actually flattens, but I will show you how to uh, mount the gator rims, uh, where the safety point of lifting the car using the, the pug. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. Cool. Michael from NCY Store. Catch you guys again in the next video. Oh wait, before I go, I forgot to mention, we have one more thing, it seems like. Never ends. I love it. Let's see what's in this box here. Ah, this is the, the side Velcro from Bosnia. There we go. All the cool stuff they make, kick guards stuff like that really good nature what this does is see how you have all these little things that leak out and, and overlapping well this one here is supposed to keep them all in check meaning all in that little compartment there so let's take this one out and see how this looks so far you can see it okay oh, it's got a little bit of debris on it oh this has a little pocket or Oh, okay. I guess it's not a pocket. It's just like a missing seam uh, glue or something. You can't really open it. So it's like almost like they made it from like, I don't know what kind of material this is. Seems pretty hard, but I'm sure you can break it. Probably thick ply board or something. And I believe it might take the shape. You just stick this into your Velcro area. Put this right here in the area that you wanted to, you know, create the compartment. And it'll compartmentalize. Let me see if I can drag this in a little bit. Not sure if I'm doing it this way better. Not bad. You can see that. Oh, yeah, look. It fits it really well. Look at that. I even left a little gap here for the other stuff to flow in. Nice. That was smart, huh? And it doesn't look too tacky. I don't think it does. And what's great is you can store a lot more and not worry about it tilting over and getting into your other side. See that? Now I can put this before where I couldn't. I can put my towels in here. Look at that. All stored nicely. And it's not gonna flunder area anywhere in here. So that's the one right there. Keep everything organized. Let's see if I can get this guy here. Wipe him down before he goes into the car. Okay, let me close him up. X is the spot. <laughs> Excuse me. See there? Really nice. Look at that. Really nice compartment to hold all your items in really safely. So I think it looks really cool. And it looks like very strong and sturdy. It's not going to flop easily on its own. You know, you can adjust a little bit better if you like to. But I think it looks good like that. Give me a little breather room right here just in case. But now things are, they're not going to fall into your other den. So it's just smart. You can't do it on this side because it's already flush, right? But over here, there is room for improvement. So I'm glad things are making things much better. Uh, sorry, my trunk is a total mess. But yeah, we're going to show you some more stuff in the next video. Michael from NCY Store. We'll see you again. Also another item. But now look, you got this one right here. Organize. <laughs> there it goes. This is the dirty underwear. There. <laughs> we can put it in there. Okay. So that puts it really nice and organized. Awesome. The Michael Francie Store. See you guys in the next video.